Good morning, YouTube. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Are you awake yet? Okay, I just dropped the kids off at the Rips. Beth is going to take them over to Christ Church for me because I have to be at work at 8 and they have to be at Christ at 8. All right, now I got to get some coffee, take an allergy pill, and start listening in meetings for a few hours. I just saw a 3D Yelp review. There was a little scion driving next to me and on all of the windows it had written in soap paint, stay away from Camelback Toyota, don't buy from there, that kind of stuff, all over the windows. What's funny is online, I wouldn't trust that review, but, but that car makes me want to never go to Camelback Toyota, so. All right, so I tried something that I never do this morning. When I went to get this, I parked and went inside thinking, it's got to be faster. Everyone always says it's faster. It wasn't faster. The car that I would have been behind in line pulled out of the parking lot like five minutes before I even got my drink. <laughs> licky tongue. Uh, Daniel, best licky tongue impression right now. Well, he's got it. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta get the tongue. You gotta get the tongue. Okay, I have a I secret mission during meetings today. I have a to-do list that's longer than my arm. And so while we're learning things about policies, I'm going to be silently checking things off my to-do list. I'll show you as I finish them. Today I'm going to practice my sign language interpretation. So as they're talking, <laughs> just kidding, I can't do that. Actually, the correct answer is you can only walk halfway because otherwise you're walking out of the lines. But isn't halfway into only 25% of the way into? I don't know. What? Because if you walk all the way in, it's halfway. So if you walk halfway in, it's only half of that, which is brilliant. I was raised by a cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more. One more. <laughs> Don't fake the funk on a nasty dunk. <laughs> We're on that lunch break right now. I'm gonna sit in that chair. <laughs> okay, so we finished up our faculty meetings at 3 o'clock. I helped Darren move some stuff into uh, our shared classroom. I grabbed an extra bookshelf that nobody wanted, and we actually moved over our uh, the leather couch that was in my office. Thank you for your help, Aiden. And then we actually moved over one of the baby pews from the sanctuary. So um, the classroom's getting all set. So here's the problem. It's Thursday afternoon. It's 3.35. And I just realized that I didn't do the bulletins this week. Normally that's something I do on Monday, but we've been in faculty meetings all day, every day this week. So I didn't even realize that I didn't do it. So I'm gonna do that right now and hope that it doesn't take too long. The Japanese kids are ready to get picked up at five and Aaron's gonna grab them. I was hoping to actually take some time and do real work because I haven't gotten anything done this week because of meetings. And I still have to figure out what I'm gonna say at the ribbon cutting ceremony. And I still have to come up with a sermon for Sunday. So I've got an outline, I know my texts, but it, my sermon needs a lot of work and tomorrow I'm probably gonna be on pain medicine for most of the day because at 8 a.m. I'm getting two teeth pulled and so I don't know how I don't know how much mental capacity I'm gonna have tomorrow afternoon so if we plan on spending time with the boys on Saturday yeah I don't know when my sermons gonna get done Kind of wish Pastor Dell was preaching this week instead of next week, but it's too late in the week to ask him. So, and actually, it's a good—it's really a good thing that I'm preaching this week because we have Shara Cunningham coming um, to talk about her mission work, and a bunch of the students on the volleyball team are going to be in 
are going to be in church on Sunday because they're having a sleepover on Saturday night. So they're going to be around on Sunday morning. So it's really a good thing that I preach, but I don't know when I'm going to get it done. All right, guys, I finished up the bulletin. It didn't take as long as I thought it was going to take. Um, I just dropped the camera. I did have to, like, actually learn how to export it to a Word doc without weird formatting because I didn't have enough time this week to send it to Kelly to format and then have her send it to Teresa. So I just had to do it on my own, and I don't, I don't know. Let's just say that the software to make a Lutheran bulletin is as straightforward and easy to use as you would imagine it is. So it took me a while. Um, so that's one major thing off my to-do list that I forgot to put on my to-do list. Uh, sadly, that might be the only thing on my to-do list that comes off my to-do list. I almost got one thing done. I called Shara Cunningham to see what she needs for this Sunday, but... She was in the middle of uh, teaching a Bible study, so she couldn't talk. So I didn't get to cross that off because I still need to talk to her and figure that out. I guess you can cross off listening to eight hours of meetings. One cool thing, though, I got to see Megan. I haven't seen her. I feel like I haven't seen her in months. Um, that can't be true. But, yeah. I miss a lot of my friends from Christ. I When I was hugging Kay Siebert yesterday, I realized that I really took for granted seeing everybody on Sunday morning for church as if, like, we were hanging out. I felt like we were hanging out, and so seeing everybody for a little bit on Sunday mornings was like seeing people all the time. Now that I don't see them on Sunday mornings every week, I feel like, I've, I, feel like I haven't seen them in forever, which is true. <coughs> the flip side of that, though, is I've grown really close again with my friends from Valley that, that I didn't hang out with at all last year because I was... Because I wasn't over at Valley hardly ever. You know, kind of flip-flopped. That being said, we have to have the Seabirds over for dinner soon. It's almost 5 o'clock. I thought we were picking up the Japanese students at 5, but it's actually 6 o'clock because they're coming back from the water park. So we have plenty of time. I'm going to go home pretty soon and start dinner. I don't remember if we've done a cooking with Jamie where we've done spaghetti. Nope, yeah, we did one with spaghetti squash. I'm actually using noodles uh, for this one because... I guess I could teach the Japanese kids how to eat spaghetti squash. I don't know too many teenagers that prefer the healthy vegetable option. And actually, from what I've been reading, spaghetti squash is still starch, so it's still not that good for you. And there's a, there's a new study that came out that said that that pasta in itself isn't all that bad for you. Um, I was reading it a little bit, and it looks like what they were trying to say is because people who eat pasta tend to eat it with foods that are good for you, like garlic, olive oil herbs, that kind of stuff, like a Mediterranean diet, that the pasta itself isn't inherently harmful combined with that kind of a diet. I don't know if they're trying to say that like macaroni and cheese is what's actually bad for you, not the macaroni, but the cheese. Um, I don't trust that, and I'm not going back to eating noodles all the time uh, by any stretch of the imagination. I thought that was an interesting factoid. I also learned recently that factoid can mean a little fact that's actually true, or it can mean something that you heard is true that isn't necessarily true. A factoid can be a true-sounding, not true thing. So I don't know which one that was. Here's another factoid. My middle name is Charles. I'm going home to make some spaghetti for the boys, and uh, I stopped off to get my hair cut really quick, and the funniest thing happened. I've been calling my, uh, my hair cutter um, the the Russian chick for like two years now and uh, I knew it I absolutely knew it but today she finally felt comfortable enough to tell me where she was really from because two years ago she said she was from Russia and I knew she wasn't and today she finally told me um, where she was really from and how it happened was like this um, she was super quiet during the haircut and somebody was making fun of her for being so quiet and she told me she said yeah when I don't uh, when I don't smoke for a couple hours when I don't have a cigarette for a couple hours I get really quiet and they make fun of me and uh, what and then the other lady said yeah you know where she's from right and I was like yeah I didn't I mean I knew where I thought I knew where she said she was from and uh, because I said yeah I know where she's from she must have thought she actually already told me where she was from. And so she told me she's from Iraq. Um, but she she says that she doesn't tell people she's from Iraq because um, they don't, they like her less when they find that out. And uh, so then normally if she's gonna say something, she says, well, I'm a Christian from Iraq. 
uh, so that so that people feel more comfortable around her. But yeah, so now I can actually say what I thought was true the whole time, which is my Iraqi stylist, this Iraqi chick, not Russian chick. So, but she does a great job. She gave me back my hard part. Um, she agrees I gotta let this grow for like three more weeks and I'll be where I need to be. Um, now I'm gonna go make some dinner. I'm gonna call it here tonight. Um, we did have spaghetti. It was delicious. The boys really liked it. And then they played some video games for a while. Me and Aaron did their laundry and then I did some of our laundry. Um, just kind of clean up the house a little bit. They hit the hay pretty early actually because they were all tired out from the water park. I'm exhausted. I'm gonna edit this up real quick. Um, see if it'll upload. I've been having a lot of trouble uploading the videos lately. I don't know what's going on with that. And I'm gonna go to sleep here in a minute. Tomorrow is a big day, kind of scary day, because I'm getting um, a molar pulled uh, on both sides of my face. And uh, they're not gonna put me under, they're just gonna numb it up, which means I'm gonna be able to hear them like breaking my tooth and pulling it out. Um, not looking forward to that. And then right after that, I'm gonna go for another day of meetings. So one of those things is like pulling teeth. I'll see you in 24 hours for another video. God bless you guys. Good night.